Uh, good morning, everyone. We're group nine, and we're gonna present flash and PowerPoints of our liquid fuel increase. Next slide, please. First, what what is flash point and PowerPoint? Uh, una po, uh, flash point is the lowest temperature to which a lubricant or fuel must be heated before its vapor. When mixed with air, it will ignite but not continue to burn. Uh, Simple lang po yung pina, ano neto. Ang flash point po is yung pinaka lowest temperature ng lubricant na pwede pong i-heat before siya mag-vaporize or maging vapor. Uh, pag hinaluang po siya ng air, it mag-iignite siya but hindi siya mag-burn continuously. Uh, fire point naman po is the temperature in which lubricant or fuel combustion will be sustained. Next slide. Uh, ito na po yung ng flash point versus fire point. So definition, sa so theory, as a theory naman po, uh, flash point po, describe po yung ignition of fuel. Sa fire point naman po, eh, describe yung ignition of fuel for some time. Continuous. Differences naman po nila. The key difference between flash point and fire point is that the flash point describes the lowest temperature at which the ignition of the substance initiates. Whereas, the fire point describes the lowest temperature at which fu the fuel continues to burn for a short period of time after the initiation of the ignition. Same concept lang po uh, yung sa fire point yung continuous na ignition po. Next slide. Flammable versus combustible. Flammable liquid has a flash point of less than 100 Fahrenheit liquid with lower flash point ignite easier combustible liquid has flash point at or above 100 po Fahrenheit uh, dito po uh, pinapakita lang kung hanggang saan yung limit ng flammable liquid tsaka combustible liquid pag uh, flammable liquid po is may flash point siya na less than 100 Fahrenheit uh, sinasabi rin po na ang liquid liquid na may lower flash point as ay mas madaling mag ignite Ang combustible liquid naman po ay may flash point ng at or above 100 Fahrenheit. Next slide. Ito naman po yung sample ng flammable and combustible liquid. Sa combustible naman po is diesel fuel, motor oil, mga ganun po. Mga oil-based paint. Uh, sa flammable naman po, gasoline, acetone, tulin, and dial ether, tsaka alcohols. Next slide. Ito pa rin po yung mga example ng flammable and combustible. Gasoline, tsaka po motor oil. Next slide. So, flash and fire point test. When a little flame is brought close to the lubricating oil, the flash point is the lowest temperature at which enough vapors are released to ignite for a brief moment. When a little flame is brought close to the oil vapors, the temperature at which they burn consistently for at least 5 seconds is called the fire point. So, dito po sa flash and fire point test, uh, nahanap lang po dito yung, point, yung temperature kung saan magkakaroon ng brief moment ng, ano, ng ignition, tsaka yung temperature na magkakaroon ng consistent na burning at least 5 seconds. So, so ang inaano lang po doon, ang... Um, parang ginagawa lang po doon is hinihit po yung vapor, yung fuel or yung oil. Tapos sisindihan po yung ano, yung sa taas. Hindi po mismo yung fuel pero yung vapor po na nandun sa taas. Tatapatan po siya ng apoy. Kapag wala po nangyari, sabihin po, wala nangyari. Tapos kapag sumindi po siya ng saglitan, yun na po yung ano, yung flash point. Tapos kapag nagsindi po siya ng ano, ng consistently yung parang ano na po siya na sustain niya na yung ano yung fire for at least 5 seconds yun na po yung fire point tapos like viscosity the flash point test has always been a standard part of a lubricant specification and because of its low cost simplicity and versatility the test is popular among the used oil analysis community as well so tulad po sa ano sa sa mga ano viscosity lagi po siyang nandun sa ano sa mga fuel kasi po ano uh, mahalag, mahalaga po siya para doon kasi yung yung mga pinaglalagyan po ng mga oil ng mga fuel is meron po silang mga ano 
mga required na the flashpoint and firepoint. Tapos kapag minsan po kailangan po ganito siya, minsan hindi siya abot sa ganito. So binabase lang po nila yung ano, yung specification and based dun sa gagami, sa paggagamitan. And ang flash and firepoint test po is trial and error based po siya. So hindi siya hindi siya nakakalculate ng ano kumbaga inaano siya ng dun sa apparatus mismo ginagamit. Most used as a quick pass or fail test for fuel dilution. More applications have surfaced in recent years. The lab analyst can deploy information about the used oil's flashpoint to troubleshoot such problems as thermal failure, gamma radiation, solvent contamination, mixed oils, and antifreeze contamination. So sa mga oils po, uh, kapag bago po siya, bago pa lang yung yung oil, alam po natin na goods ka agad yun. So, wala po masyadong problem. Babasahin lang po natin yung nasa likod kung natry na po siya sa flash and fire point test. Pero, mahalaga rin po na gamitan ng flash and fire point test yung mga used oil kasi hindi po natin alam yung yung changes dun sa oil na yun kapag used na po siya. Kasi po, magkaroon po ng mga contamination, ng mga ano, baka po may changes na critical para sa ano, sa engine. So, kailangan po talaga siya. Lalo na po sa mga, ano, ang naisip ko po na pinakamahalagang pinagagamitan na ito is sa mga engine. Kasi po, uh, alam po natin sa engine, may nangyayaring combustion. So, kapag yung oil, oil so simula lang siya okay. Tapos pagdating po ng mga siguro 3 months or basta pag nagamit na po siya, nawawala po, bumababa po yung fire point na. Magiging disastrous po yun if ever kasi baka pwedeng lumiyab yung ano yung engine mga ganong scenario po. So flash and fire point test pa rin po. Flash points are measured by heating a liquid to specific temperatures under under controlled conditions and then applying a flame. A test is done in either an open cup or a closed cup apparatus or in both in order to mimic the conditions of storage and the workplace. So, kaya po nasabi ko kanina, ganun po yung, ano, yung procedure kung paano siya ginagawa. Uh, in-specify lang po dito na meron dalawang klase, is yung, yung open cup and yung closed cup. So, sa open cup po, uh, self-explanatory naman po siya, naka-open lang po yung vessel na pinaglalagay ng fuel dun sa test sa apparatus. So, sa closed cup naman po, is nakasara po siya. Ginagawa, ginagawa po itong dalawang scenarios na to para po mamimik yung ano, para magaya po yung conditions na kunyari po yung oil is nasa loob ng engine. Ganun po yung ginagawa. Kasi po, uh, malaking factor rin po yung, ano, yung amount of air na humahalo dun sa, ano, sa vapors nung, ano, nung fuel or nung oil. Kasi po alam, gaya po ng alam natin is combustion, may tatlong, ano, tatlong kailangan, fire, kindling, and yung fuel, ay, oxygen, fuel, tsaka yung kindling po. Open cup flash point test. The open cup method for flash point testing use a vessel or container that is exposed to the outside air. Yung sa open cup flash point test daw, Kumagamit siya ng vessel o yung mga parang lalagyanan. Container, mga ganun. Tapos, yung ano yun, yung container na yun, exposed siya sa outside air. Parang kumbaga open talaga siya na ano, sa labas yung ano, parang naka, may pumapasok sa hangin sa loob. As once the sample material is placed in the vessel, you then gradually raise its temperature and pass an ignition source over it, and it until it flash and ignites at certain point. Yung pagkaano naman daw, nilagay yung kuwari, mga sample material, katulad ng ethanol. Sa ano, yung sa may container, dahan-dahan lang daw yung pagtangat ng temperature o pagtangat ng init. Tapos pagka ano daw, pagka napas niya yung certain ignition source, dun siya mag ano siya, para mag ignite siya, parang ano ganun. Exchange. Ito yung sample video na tungkol sa open cup flash point test. Play. Hello students, in this 
video, I am going to talk about the Cleveland Open Cup apparatus. This apparatus is to determine flash and fire point temperature of any given sample of fuel. Now, what is flash point and fire point temperature? Flash point is the minimum temperature at which sufficient combustible vapors are formed. At this point, if you introduce a matchstick flame over the surface of the fuel, a flash appears. Fire point is the minimum temperature at which sufficient combustible vapors are formed. As you introduce a matchstick flame over the surface of the fuel, continuous fire occurs. The apparatus has a test cup in which fuel is filled up to the mark and the thermometer is dipped in the fuel to measure the temperature. The thermometer is to be tightened in such a way that its dip should not be dipped completely. There is a dimmer to maintain the heating voltage in the range 60 to 90 and fuel is to be filled in the cup up to the mark which is provided and one thermometer to measure the temperature and the matchstick is required to check the flash of fire. Make a table of two columns, one column of temperature and another for the presence of flash or fire. Switch on the apparatus, a red light will glow and we have to maintain the voltage between 60 to 90. After a while, when voltage gets stabilized, automatically light glow off. To check flash or fire point temperature, light the matchstick and bring it near to the surface of the fuel. Check its flash occurs. Repeat the procedure with 5 degree increase in temperature until you get first flash point temperature while conducting the experiment. Use safety glasses for eyes and parallelly note down the temperature values of the experiment. This experiment takes more time initially because the fuel is a lubricating oil which will consume more time because of its high viscosity and you can increase the temperature by using dimmer parallelly. After a while, you can see the rise in temperature in the thermometer. As the temperature increases, viscosity of oil reduces. Due to open cup apparatus, the rise in temperature is slow. But after certain period of time, you can notice that temperature will rise quickly and you need to check for flash point as some vapors are formed on the surface of the fuel. As the rise in temperature continues, light the matchstick and we got flash at 110 degree temperature. Now immediately check for the fire temperature for each degree. As you can see at 120 degree no fire occurs. Repeat the procedure until you get the fire point temperature. After a while you can see clearly that continuous fire occurs on the surface of the fuel. Thus we found out the flash point and fire point temperature using Cleveland Open Cup Apparel. Due to open cup apparatus, the rise in temperature is slow but after certain period of time, you can notice that temperature will rise quickly and you need to check for flash point as some vapors are formed on the surface of the fuel. As the rise in temperature continues, light the matchstick and we got flash at 110 degree temperature. Now immediately check for the fire temperature for each degree. As you can see at 120 degree, no fire occurs. Repeat the procedure until you get the fire point temperature. After a while you can see clearly that continuous fire occurs on the surface of the fuel. Thus we found out the flash point and fire point temperature using Cleveland's open cup apparatus. hindi pa naman po tayo sa close cup flash point test. In the close cup method, you conduct the test using a vessel which is sealed up from the outside atmosphere. You then hit both the vessel and sample, which replicates the effect of accidentally introducing an ignition source into a sealed container, such as gas tank or other storage vessel. So yung close cup apparatus is to determine the fire and flash point temperature with different kinds of fuels. Ayun no, ano to, ang type na to is able flash point. Alright, next part. Next, ano? Uh, close cap flash point is a bulb that can obtain from a closed vessel, like what I said before. And here, the vapor above the liquid is not in equilibrium with the liquid. The closed cap methods come into two forms: as non-equilibrial method and equilibrial method. 
And then there are four types of closed cap flash point testing methods. Uh, next. Next po. Penske Martin flash point apparatus. Penske Martin flash point apparatus is designed as per IS 1209-1978. The apparatus is widely used for determination for closed cap flash point of fuel oil catbox asphalt. Yeah. Other viscous material and suspension of solid having a flash point above 49 degrees or 120 degree Fahrenheit. And Penske determined the flash point of petroleum products in 40 degrees to 370 degrees range. Yeah. Next. Ayan yung kaninang ano, ito yung example kanina sa pinakita dun sa ano, tapos ito rin yung may sample video tayo mamaya. I will splash point. It's a petroleum testing apparatus for determining the flash point. It is used for the purpose of determining the flammable point of a number of petroleum products. Able splash point apparatus with oil test jet is heated by hot plate with digital temperature indicator. And meron yung slider na maliit kung saan may bukasan, tapos saraduhan. Magsisindi ng matchstick tapos itatapat lang doon. Then makikita na natin kung may flash point or fire point. And pa next naman. A close cap flash point tester for flash point determination of liquids with a viscosity of below 5.5 centistokes. And ito po yung ano naman, measuring flash point of lowest temperature which vapors of sample ignite upon the application of an ignition source. Tapos yun last na. Pa next po. And small scale flash point. Small scale flash point testers are universally specified main international regulation to define and clarify flammable and combustible substances. They provide the most precise and fast test. Mean of carrying out flash point tests on a different flash, no flash basis. But in the laboratory and field, as the ML sample sizes and one minute test, time make these instruments ideally suited for many applications. And this issue not is an rapid test of flammability. And lang po. Tapos ito na po yung sample video ng Arrivals kanina. Hello students, in this video, I am going to speak about the Arrivals Closed Cup Apparatus. This apparatus is to determine the flash and fire point temperature of any given sample of fuel. Take out the cup, remove the cap, and the cup is to be filled with the fuel up to the mark which is provided. There is a stirrer to distribute the heat uniformly inside the cup. There is a slider which has small opening where you can check for flash or fire point by using matchstick. Now close the cup and put it back to the apparatus. Before switching on the apparatus, check whether the thermometer is showing the room temperature Use the rubber cork to hold the thermometer firmly so that it will not allow the thermometer to dip completely in the fuel. Switch on the apparatus and maintain the voltage between 60 to 70. Light the matchstick, open the slider, bring the matchstick near to the opening point to check for the presence of flash or fire. Thus we found out the flash point and fire point temperature using Abel's closed cup apparatus.